Hey sweet friends, I'm Nicole. Welcome to my channel, Lazy Creek Homestead, where I hope to be an inspiration to you in all things mom life on the homestead, but especially in the kitchen. That's where my passion is. I hope to encourage you to get in the kitchen and create some great recipes for your family and make them your way. In today's video, I'm going to share with you three of my family's favorite Christmas cookies. Honestly, we love cookies. We have these all year round, but they're always added to our uh, Christmas tray of cookies. We give them to friends and grandparents. They expect them. So let's get in the kitchen and I'll show you our favorite Christmas cookies. All right, so we are going to make one of my family's favorite Christmas cookies. We are going to make the peanut butter um, blossom cookies. We just call them peanut butter cookies. So I have a, uh, one cup of brown sugar, uh, one stick of butter, and a half a cup of creamy peanut butter. And we're just going to blend this up with the KitchenAid. And um, then we'll add in the rest of our ingredients. So we've creamed together our peanut butter and our brown sugar and our um, butter. I'm going to add two eggs to the mix. We are going to add some of our homemade vanilla. And then we are going to give that a good mix. And once that's all incorporated, we will add in our flour and our baking soda. We're going to put our baking soda in. And about half of this cup of flour. Well, we're going to put the whole cup of flour in there. And we're going to mix this and we'll add in the next cup. All right, so we are going to add in our last three-fourths cup of flour, and we're going to get that all mixed together. And then I'm going to put this, um, take it out of the bowl, put it in a cellophane, and chill it in my fridge overnight. And um, we'll make these cookies in the morning. All right, so we have our cookie dough all wrapped up. I'm going to put it in the fridge, and we're going to make our... Uh, peanut butter blossom cookies in the morning. Our peanut butter cookies are in the oven and when they come out we'll add the Hershey Kiss. So our peanut butter cookies are out of the oven. They cooked for about 10 minutes and we are going to add a Hershey Kiss into the middle and I also like to do um the mini peanut butter cups. So we'll add a couple of those. These are so good. A lot of people will um, roll their cookie dough into some colored sugar before they bake them or sprinkles. Um, I've even seen people do peppermint pieces and then um, so many different flavors you could do with the Hershey Kisses. I love peanut butter. And then you just let your cookies cool. So in my mixer, I have mixed together two sticks of butter and one cup of powdered sugar. And now I'm going to add in a eight ounce block of softened cream cheese. And I'm going to make my favorite Christmas cookie. It's kind of a rendition of a Mexican wedding cake cookie. Typically you would not put cream cheese in a Mexican wedding cake cookie. And for the nuts, I like to use um, pistachios. And I think 
traditionally a Mexican wedding cake cookie has um, pecans, I believe, in it. Um, but this is my way of making them, and we just call them wedding cake cookies. So we have our cream cheese and our butter and powdered sugar all mixed together. I added in a good teaspoon of our homemade vanilla extract. We're going to whip this up and then we will slowly add in our flour. Alright, so we're going to add one and three-fourths cup of flour. I'm going to start with about a half cup and just slowly add it in. And then I'm going to put in my um, nuts. Alright, so we're going to add in our last three-fourths cup of flour. And we're going to mix that well. And then we'll get in our pistachios and this cookie dough will be ready to get in the oven. Alright, so we have our cookie dough batter pretty much mixed together. I am going to add in my um, crushed up uh, pistachios. Pistachios are my favorite nut, but please feel free to use whatever you like. And I'm just going to fold these guys into the batter. And then I'm going to let this chill. And then we're just going to roll them in powdered sugar like you would like a crinkle cookie. Alright, so we have our uh, wedding cake cookie dough out. This is the one with the pistachios. I just got a spoon, but you could use a cookie scoop, whatever you like. I like to chill this dough because it's kind of a sticky dough. So I'm just going to get a good spoonful. I take it off the spoon, kind of shape it a little. And then I just roll it into the powdered sugar. And then we place them onto our cookie sheet and we cook them in our 350 degree oven for about 8 minutes or so. And here is our pistachio wedding cake cookies. They are so delicious. This is definitely my favorite Christmas cookie. They are moist. They hold their shape well. I just love these cookies. I really hope you guys can give this recipe a try. And as any good sweet treat should start off, we got some butter and sugar creamed in our bowl. We are going to add some of our vanilla extract. And we are kind of making just the classic chocolate chip cookie recipe. But I'm going to put in a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Alright, so we have all of our sugar and eggs and butter blended together in our mixer. And now we're going to add our two and one fourth cup of flour. I also did one teaspoon of baking soda and then we'll add in our goodies. All right, to my mixing bowl, I added in some Christmas colored mini M&Ms. I have some white chocolate chips and some semi-sweet chocolate chip. This is kind of my version of monster cookies. Like I mentioned, I just used a simple chocolate chip cookie recipe and I added in a little bit of everything that I had left. Give these a mix and we'll start baking our cookies. All right, our monster cookies are out of the oven and they look delicious. I want to thank everyone so much for all of your love and support this last year. And from me to you, I hope everyone has a great holiday season. Thank you so much for watching.